Hello everybody, this is Stranger of a back for part 3 of Hogwarts Legacy and yes, the first like 10 minutes of this video is pre-recorded stuff because I did I did all this off camera without me commentary. So yeah, basically to recap, part 2, we went to Hogsmeade for the first time, we freaking incinerated a troll and yeah, we got we got into a tussle with Victor Rookwood and, and we made him shit himself. <laughs> Right, you may be wondering where the bloody hell I am. I am in an antechamber. So basically, after the whole Hogsmeade fiasco thing, we went back to Hogwarts. We had a little note from Figgy that he wants, wanted us to talk to him about entering the restricted section of the library. But then Professor Black came in, interfered, and was like, yeah, you're not going anywhere, Figgy. So we have to, we have to, infiltrate, we have to infiltrate the library ourselves. And with the help of our good friend, Sir Sebastian, we did that. Of course, Sebastian is not with us because we had we had Peeves the Pervert intercept us and he's like, I ain't going to tell, I ain't going to tell. But he teaches pet, so I'm gone on on my own to the point where I'm at now. And yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do when I think I'm AFK. <laughs> so yeah, Revelio. that is basically it. Oh, come on, past stranger. Hurry up. Okay, here we go. Got, got, some, got, got some action here. Fighting some girls. Yeah, I have learnt a few new tricks as well. My combat skills are getting slightly better. Oh, that was in my head. Ow. Potato. Potato. Akio. Oh, yeah, I think that. Oh, that was good. That was skills there. Ah, go away, Java. Revelio. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, we are... Well, I don't know what this is. I have no clue what that is. I think maybe I needed something else. Okay, so basically, to keep it to keep it short, we have to get we have to get down there where there's a pensive memory, which is quite a long one, and it is a big part of the main story. So I will keep it in this video. <laughs> yes, I know. I, I got a bit carried away, forward, didn't I? But to where? Off camera, I was like, oh no, no, we're gonna have to re-record all this. Damn it! And again, I could have just started again, but no. it's, once it's done, it's done. So yeah, I basically Rebellion. have to hit that thing to make steps appear, and then I gotta hit it again to make the second set of steps appear. Oh yes, we also got some loot as well. I think this is where I got my uh Yes, I got a new suit yeah. school room. Keep my wits about me. All right, so yeah, this is a, <laughs> this is quite an epic fight. So I'll, pl I'll play it out. I'll play it. Out. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get, I am getting more used to the combat in this game, which is really, really awesome. And actually, I can use, I can use this time to just talk about the, well, the game so far. Wow, wow, just wow. This game has just been mind blowing. It's so, it's so much fun to play. I just don't want to play anything else. I just want to play Hogwarts Legacy. Like, but obviously, if I play it off camera, I'll, I could progress the story like I've done here. And then, you know, the only t way I could play it is either to just grind and do side quests, which I always plan to do off camera. Just been insane, this game. Awesome. Like, to anyone that would want that is thinking about playing this game, it's, it's, there's no thinking about it. Just play it. Like, it's just an amazing game. It really is. And I, I've only done, like, 5% of it. Okay, yeah, this is the pensive up there. Yes, yes, you can rebellion all you want, but there's nothing here. 
Okay, so yeah, I'll stop talking while you while the pensive plays. Quite a long one, this memory. So yeah, this is like the ancient magic thingy, like like like, like what my character can do, but my character can't do this yet. <laughs> so yeah, they like basically restore a droughted area, which is awesome. Okay, so yeah, you this is another memory me? where we have Mistress this gal Gerald. called Isadora Morgana. <laughs> Isadora Morgana. And like me, Welcome. like my character, she is a fifth Professor year Rookwood. as well. We and understand she can see traces of ancient well magic. To life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Oh yeah, we also Especially found out that the fat guy there is Charles Rookwood. As a fifth year? As Probably happened, relations to that Rookwood guy that I scared the crap out of in the last episode. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. <laughs> Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. Like me! Oh, I'll, I won't misuse this magic in any way. <laughs> and that's the end of the pensive memory. Alright, so yes, we end up back in the library and well, there's Peeves. in the restricted section. But we ended up back in the library and there's Peeves the Perv. We were through with this so yeah, poor Sebastian, getting into trouble for me. A true, a true trooper there, Sebastian. I'm afraid Sebastian. I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, P 
Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone. Why would you believe that clown anyway? If someone has coerced you, like look I at him, he really kind of looks like Buddy Wormtail. Yeah, yes, sneezy little boy. weasel. Nobody likes Don't a teacher's pet. Waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Yeah, he, he, he defends. Oh, he, Sebastian. This Sebastian is a nice guy. I like him. What will your uncle say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. Go on, go on, Peeves. You wait till I call the Ghostbusters. All right, and now we are taking the book to Figgy. Serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. <laughs> you don't want to know. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on I the have, map. My character has beautiful eyes. First, I made a right choice a there. Okay, so this is where we find out that there are pa pages missing from oh. the book, which is not very oh, good. Dear. My suspicion is that maybe to be missing. that Rookwood guy or Randwalk might have the pages. Of course, I could be completely Still, wrong. I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year. Like, like me! Did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those I wonder. Memories? I wonder if my character is like a descendant mm, of those guys. Perhaps this book will explain. I mean, no, it makes sense. It would make sense. London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Ugh. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. Well, let's be honest, My the minister can't be any worse than our buddy Fudge dude. The moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the So yeah, the he's day. basically telling but us that we probably need to get more... Herbology and oh, we have to attend Herbology There's and Potions magic and then more spell casting, spell casting classes. Keep occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Yay, see ya, oh, Figgy. And don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much and you yeah, can learn from And yeah, that is pretty much as far as, as I got well. to. And we'll let the adventure continue. Revelio. In real time. Live with live commentary. <laughs> ah, it's good to see you too, BFF. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Basically, to recap, we got a couple of quests to do. After all that stuff with a butt. I got this kick-ass suit and I got a cape of a badass. So, yeah. My character looks a lot more cooler now. <laughs> and we got a... It is good yes, to see okay. you, my friend. Yes, I know, I know. Yeah, we got loads of stuff to do. So we're going to talk to Miss Unai, who is our BFF. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll quickly show the quest. So, yeah, we have to attend Herbology as well, which we'll do. Okay, so we got this quest, and then we're going to do this quest, and we'll see where we're at. What's up, dude? Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. Check it I out. Well, I got a kick-ass suit. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rook oh, and Harlow after you. Oh, I grew two feet. I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. 
Um, we'll tell her. She is my BFF. And I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that it's the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I Hell think so. yeah, boy. I'm still learning. But I can <laughs> I see incinerated of it, that thing. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Ah, I Rookwood and a threat. that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such yeah, courage yeah, man enough fighting to face me, troll. I'm scared of a 15-year-old girl. And intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. <laughs> Why did my character keep going up and down? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. Oh, I am not really? going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Yeah, Good. the more the merrier. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous Oh, I'm like pair. on the step, I and think. the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason ah, they Ranrock's a weakling. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day to day. You can't even touch my face. Taking him bit. down oh. would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I Ugh, was thinking I that poachers. we could investigate a bit. Try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. I hope people won't Be think badly... Yes, all right. I hope people won't think badly of me when I kill those poachers I in the most cruel heart. way possible. <laughs> wait till... What's going on here? Oh, hang on, something going on over there? Yes, wait, wait till I get a Cruciatus curse. <laughs> I'll be casting Crucior and them po poachers. And I won't heal either, even when they beg me for death. And then I'll kill them. Help the stranger. Ooh, they there's two suspicious men. Hey, hey, don't you shout to this person, who I do I not no know. I who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my Nora research. Treadwell? Why does that name sound familiar? Dr. Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Dude. Speak of the <laughs> devil. <laughs> We're in a pandemic, Rookwood guys. Like Take your masks off. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Oi. Her alone. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him. You come to the wrong place, child. <laughs> oh, yeah? Ah. Oh. Oh, I turned him into a chicken! <laughs> I fancy some chicken nuggets. I'm gonna eat them. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh, I like your outfit. I'm gonna take it off you when I kill you. The collections. Okay. Oh, hang on. No, no. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gotta concentrate on the fight! Oh yeah? Who was that? Yeah, do that, sunshine! Oh, potato! It's like what the Hulk did to Loki! Just happened. Hang on, I gotta do the. I, hang on, love, I gotta do the Hulk speak. Puny wizards. Oh, that was intense. Hello, stranger. My name is Stranger too. Look, like, see, my name is Stranger. Right? I am. Why does my character look dirty? To your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's ah, a long they... story. 
but they're doing it because Victor Rookwood ain't man enough mm. to face me. Well, He's scared of a 15-year-old chick. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. And I don't blame Let's him. Let's get moving on my research before they return. I'm not an enemy you want to have. Who is who is this Priya person? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who Wait, you're a guy? in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students Oh, oh okay. That was all. That's okay. Typical no, I think no. <laughs> Hufflepuff. Brilliant I think she's a lesbian. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a <laughs> traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work. Merlin, you say? I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. Mere myth? <laughs> I like the way she said that. Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection oh, Sir to Merlin Cadogan. from his portrait at Wait, Hogwarts. Wait, and he the Gryffindor guy? Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. Trials I've of taken Merlin? I've to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. Ah. He was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. Okay. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl Ooh, in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. <laughs> I'm going to take the lot. It's the least you can do for Bavilio. me. I just saved your skin, love. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Well, I don't have any, so I'm going to take the them out. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Oh, look at that cloud! Ooh, look at that cloud in the sky! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about Okay, I these think we're gonna vines. use have to use Incendio here. Let's have a look. Let's try. Go out the way, love. Incendio! Mullen's beard! Yes, I knew it! The flames make the pyre sink. <laughs> incendio! Yeah, we learned Incendio off camera as well, by the way. <laughs> oh, we did it! Ooh, what do we get? I hope we get something good. What a day! I can hardly believe it. Yeah, just saved your life, dude. And then you gave me some lovely leaves. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I oh, may have dragonfly. missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My mm. guess is that each will also require Mallow Suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. You know what? A pleasure to meet you too. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay, where, where to now? Trials of Merlin. 
Oh, ah! Oh, she's packing up. Different challenges offer different rewards. Complete Merlin. Okay, ooh. Gear capacity. Okay, that's going to come in handy because I've got quite a lot of gear. Right, so where do I go now? Okay, I think we need to we need to attend Herbology class. You know, because we are at a school. Ah, yes. Ooh, what's this? Dittany leaves. Ooh, gimme, gimme. Okay, I can't go in there for the looks of it. Ah, search off camera. Right, let's wait for your herbology. Oh, I gotta go to herbology. Oh, he said he slept on the floor. Ooh, we got another class. Ooh, what is that? Looks like a bloody predator plant. Good morning, Professor Garlic. For you Yu-Gi-Oh players out there. You again, Lenora, ah, Professor okay. Garlic. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, what is a little treat for your auntie. What is it with herbologist professors being named after like oh, food? We got Professor Garlic. We have Pro Professor Class, Sprout. Please Mary welcome Potter. the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Ah. <laughs> okay, How I might be simping for this teacher. Okay. Back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement. But the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The yeah, just take notes I don't have my uniform on. afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Ah. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber well, known as wand. the mandrake root. Oh, Thank mandrakes. <laughs> Who remembers this from Chamber Let's of Secrets? Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Yes, the cry of the mandrake is fatal to anyone that hears it. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Although these ones look a lot... Oh, the yell. Holy cow! Yeah, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> oh, that was loud. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. Very handy. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. Aww. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Is that it? Oh, it's a butterfly. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You oh, can okay. all get started. Talk to her. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Sup, dude? Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I went bloody I'll deaf. Say I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my seeds. Okay, so I need to plant dittany seeds at the Little potting fancy. table. Go right. away, go away, dude. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient Ooh. in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay, so I'm assuming... Ah, oh, there we go. And we got to wait ten minutes. I hope we don't have to wait ten minutes. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, 
What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. Ooh, we'll find sounds that fun. Some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany oh, us. Who's Mr. Come Pruitt? Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yes, you already mentioned that. She's kind of a... <laughs> kind of like a... Okay, so I need to meet Pruitt. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. What's up, dude? I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But you'll lead. Oh, damn right they will lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Ah, oh, thank you, me? sir. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. Yeah, that's right. They did slaughter oh. him. Well, thank you. Yes. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Oh, he, oh, he's the dude that was fighting Sebastian. Trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. Here we are. Hey, Home you don't diss Ravenclaws, boy. Cabbage. Or I'll do to you what I did to Sebastian. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb oh, look once. At that. Don't worry. Look no, at the teeth on it. It's like, oh, no, no, it's like a fly trap. Now, see that dummy? Okay, so I just need just to collect the all of these. Bit, and they'll do the rest. Um, how do I attack? Oh, hold tab and tap. Ah, I see. Okay, so we have that, and then we can... Oh. <laughs> oh, oh man, man, look at it go, look at it go. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Is that it? Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My yes, they are. <laughs> Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. Damn right you I was. was. I mean, of course, you're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay, we've got to return to Professor Garlic. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Learning all these new thingies. <laughs> Tons of fun. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Uh-oh, what happened to Mr. Clopton? I'm kind of curious. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. Wow. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Yeah. Yeah, I like plants. plants have so much to offer. <laughs> I don't want to be kind. I don't want to be a douche and be like, yeah, I don't care about plants. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden. Oh, are you my favourite teacher so far? Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Yay, we did it! Herbology class. Master. The mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Get the way. Get the way, Gryffindor. Damned hearing. Get the way, dude. Oh, we got a new quest. Let's have a look. Ooh, potions class. Okay, yeah, let's attend potions class then. Mine. What do we get? Oh, we didn't get anything. Ooh, ooh, we got one of these. 
I still haven't been able to solve this yet, but apparently there's a chalkboard in some in in like in a hall in the castle that helps you solve this. But I haven't found it yet. Oh, hang on. Pavilion. We got another one of these. Statue of Gregory the Smart sm 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 Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing un unctuous unction. Oh. Interesting. Good potion if you don't have any friends. Oh, we leveled up. We're level 10. Oh, we got I another flu. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would Wait. never allow that. Was that an elf? It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Ah, don't worry about it. You don't need Professor Black. You got me. I saw an aura that on Professor Black's shelf. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. All right, then, yeah. Portions. Oh, my God. Yeah, this guy's got, like, Snape vibes. He's got to be mean to me, Illusions isn't he? is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar... Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Yeah! Before More points for Ravenclaw. Before completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of Why is he limping? Own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Well, he seems like a barrel of laughs, doesn't he? Can I go back to Herbology? I like... I like Professor Garlic. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Ooh. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Hawk club juice. Oh, oh, a little bit more. Yeah! What have we got to do? Oh, stir the cauldron. Ooh, 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 you spin me right round. Oh, oh, here comes Mr. Sunshine. Why is he limping? That's what, that seems I see a bit interesting. I most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Fair Come enough. and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Oh my god, he even kind of looks like Snake. Can I just say that? Right, we need to collect some eggs and mongrel first, so where do I need to go? My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a college. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that? Oh, hang on. This guy's a Weasley! Office? You heard correct. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients. Get out of the way, Weasley. The potion. Brilliant. You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Oh, yeah, he's Pleasure definitely a Weasley. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I don't Just trust this guy. Just one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Ugh. 
Uh, I don't know. I, yeah, sod it. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Well, if they're not that valuable, how, can you, can, how could you Hurry struggle to get one? You have the feather. Your potion should not be that colour, Miss McDowell. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna nick his letter. <laughs> Wait, Borgen and Burks? Ooh, Ooh, that's interesting. 1875. Oh. Ah, interesting. Okay, so we need these. Revelio. He's got to loot the place. Yes, all this will be mine. Gimme, gimme. Ooh, Quidditch goggles. Oh, my gear spots are full. Hmm, that's something I'll probably have to do off camera and sell some stuff to Hogsmeade. organized and free of clutter. <laughs> I'm going to get the tension for this, aren't I? Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that Ooh, can't we got be a rushed. potion station. And patience can be thorough. Yes, sir. Um, okay, so we want to brew an Endurus potion. Ooh, oh, okay, we gotta... <laughs> gotta wait for it to grow first, so... I'll just skip this bit. Yeah! Wait, is that it now? Did I do it? And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Uh oh, what's he doing? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -oh. Get it! Not again! Oh, the smell! What did but you do? What happened? Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? It's always Sorry, a Weasley, Professor. Isn't it? That'll be points from Gryffindor again. <laughs> Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Oh dear, <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley. Oh my God! He chaos. knows. He's not stupid. He knows. I am not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say, you've done well. I confess, I was. Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Fair Pay enough. particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Oof! Hehe, <laughs> got away with it! Yes! <laughs> I think Suck each it, of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Dude, he's like barely sat on the chair. Look at him, like he's barely sat on the chair. Oh, fucking Weasley's getting me into trouble. Ugh. My robes are going to reek. Oh, wow, we're, get, we're doing a lot of quests this episode. Oh, ooh, okay, so... Oh, we don't have any main quests. But, yeah, we do. We have... we got to go to Figgy. Oh, yeah, I also have this assignment to unlock Expelliarmus, but uh, I'm going to have to wait till I finish that one there. Which, again, I'll probably do, I'll probably do that off camera. Greetings. Ooh. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Oh, okay, so we gotta see um we gotta see Mr. Ollivander. Ooh, hang on. I just know it. 
Ugh, got enough to teleport the Hogsmeade. All right, Ollivander, give me your quest. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, now. but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. What do I get out I of it? I suppose I could. But why should I spend my time on a glorified errand? It is much more than a glorified errand, to be sure. I dare say you'll find my proposal intriguing. Please, hear me out. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom, Applewood Wand with a fairy wing core, went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaws. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was oh. less than helpful. Yes, yes. All right, I'll, I'll oh, investigate. You. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Ah, oh, you've brought hope to this old one maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Damn right. Okay, so I gotta investigate the owlry. Ooh, hello. But first, we gotta say hello to a kitty cat. Ah, he's a good puss. Got one weird tail. Put a tail on that thing. It's like all white and then it's got like a colourful tail. It's like the model makers forgot to paint it. Oh, it's all the way over there. Ugh. Damn it, this is high. Right. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you're an owl. And attack! <laughs> die, owl, die! Oh. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned... Must be upstairs amongst the owls. All right, but we're gonna loot. Ugh, I forgot. All my gear, all my gear, my inventory's full. Damn it! Oh my god, more stairs! So many stairs! I don't like stairs. In a in a freaking wizarded world, why do we have to deal with stairs? Don't mind me, owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? I have cut. Ooh, hello. Revelio. Forget the statues, we got this. I recognize. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keep an eye out for owl drop ins, and regurgitated mouse skeletons. A summoning charm should do the trick. Aha! Akio. Oh, what have we got here? Hmm. I'd best keep looking. Oh, what have we got? Here's a welcome surprise. Yeah, 13 galleons. I could buy half the outfit for that. Ooh, a jackdaw statue. Yes! Ha ha ha. Revelio. Accio. Ooh, another one. Oh, nothing in there. Mm, nothing. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or oh, statues of jackdaws. Oh, do I have to, like, put them all in, like... Return the bird, bird sculptures to their perches. Okay, well, I just did that. Is there more? Oh, hang on, there's one up there. Yeah, we got one. Yay, we did it. I think. Revelio. Oh, damn it, there's another one up there. Huh, oh, there must be two nicely. more. Wait, what will do? I didn't see anything. Oh, man, more, more guardians. Okay, so I'm assuming we got to put the owls there. Revelio. But we got to find where they all are. 
Okay, there's a statue up there, so me. Oh, hang on. Maybe we have to go up there, perhaps? Hmm. Ow! I'd best keep looking. my head. Hmm. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Oh, give me that. Hang on, that's a. Levioso. No, not that. That one. Oh, quick. Oh, what? Wait, what's this? Cast Lumos. Okay. Hmm, I don't know what that is. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best oh, hang on to it for now. Oh, we got a new quest, I think. Accio. I think that's another thing I'm going to have to do in my spare time. Oh, I'll take that, thank you. Hmm, nothing. Here's a welcome surprise. Oh, there's another statue. And I no feel statues here. Bird drop ins. Oh no. Revelio. Oh oh hang on, there's more on this side. Oh, this will do nicely. No, no, hmm. don't go down. I'd best keep looking. Badoosh. It's gonna loot this whole place. Right, I think that's it. I'd best keep looking. What's happening? Oh no no! I, I, oh, I did it. Okay, here we go. Oh, I summoned a storm. Ah no! Got blown off my feet. Oh, he's a headless dude. Sup? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Richard Jackdaw. Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. Pleasure to meet you. Richard Jackdaw. So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So... You did all that to impress a girl? You a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves... And followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity. But yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. Ooh, the Forbidden Forest. How'd you lose I your head? I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. <laughs> light-headed because you ain't got a head. Hence, if you do visit the cave, <laughs> be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. What is this, a quest for the Holy Grail? Only the if penitent the man will pass. If that's to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the no, wand love to and see the it. pages are yours for the taking. Well, if this wand is powerful, I'm keeping it. I ain't giving it back to Ollivander. All right, where's the loot I just Rebellion. lost? I think I just lost all my loot. Damn it. All right, now i got to get out of here now. Ooh, we got a new quest. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, we have to learn Expelliarmus by the looks of it. Before we can do the next quest. So, I think this is a good time to end the session. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. 
And well, the adventure will continue in part four. And until next time, ta-ta!